Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lip gloss review on the Bon Bell Lip Lights, or Bonnie Bell if you prefer this company, the ones that make lip smackers. And then lip lights. I happen to have Caramel Latte, which I bought this color because um, if you watch my NYC Liquid Lip Shine review, I mentioned that my favorite lip gloss of all time is this Avon Glazewear, and it has this particular color, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I last time I looked in an Avon catalog, I couldn't find that particular color, which is part of what I loved about it because it's an unusual color that you don't find just anywhere. So I was trying to find something that was kind of reminiscent of that. And this is the closest I could find in the lip lights. Um, Caramel Latte. Um, first thing I noticed when I bought this and went to try it out is it smells like its name. Like It smells honestly like a caramel latte. Which it's, I imagine a cherry one would smell like cherry, but smells delicious but it is a strong smell so you may or may not like it I like it but um it's a strong smell it smells like its name um, this is a very nude gloss I did a swatch but you probably won't be able to tell on it because uh, of my lovely lighting but um I am wearing it um, it is kind of slippery for gloss. I mean, glosses are obviously going to be slippery. But this one is pretty slippery. Um, it's more slippery than the NYC ones. But um, it's a lip gloss, so what can you do? And it also doesn't last very long. Again, it's a lip gloss. What can you do? You don't necessarily buy these for long-lasting power. Um, but it really doesn't last very long. Um, I shot a couple videos for this one, like just in succession, like I said in my um, uh, Maybelline Smokes review that I was shooting videos in succession and just doing two of them it was pretty much worn off. So it doesn't last very long, so if you want to use this, you know, it has to be somewhere where you can frequently reapply it, otherwise you're just going to lose your look. But um. Smells great. Fairly nice pigmentation. A little slippery, but not bad. Oh no, not a bad lip gloss. This one, I'm kind of torn. I don't know whether or not I want to recommend it or not. No, it's hard to describe. But, like, I like it. But I also like other ones, too. So, you know, it's an okay lip gloss. It's not um, super amazing, but... It's fairly inexpensive, so, and it smells great, so, go ahead and try it. Maybe you'll find something you love. Bye.